Hello everyone, this is Brother Andrew walking you through integrating an HTML5 interaction project into a Camtasia Studio course. I've got here a Camtasia project that I've put together for Mother's Day. As you can see I've got an introduction slide and a general information slide and over here there's a quiz uh, already set up. Now it isn't super easy to give information interaction without using a whole lot of callouts with interactive hotspots and then placing a lot of information on my timeline so that the user can bounce around as they click on different callouts. However, an alternative is to create an interaction using HTML5 and then link it to my Camtasia project. I'm not much of an HTML5 coder myself, so I'll be using the interaction builder offered by eLearning Brothers. Go ahead and uh, launch the interaction builder and go to my save files. I've already spent about 10 minutes or so customizing one of the interaction templates. So we'll open up the Mother's Day ladder project I've got saved here. Here you can see I've put several uh, different keywords and names that have to do with Mother's Day and when I click on each one it pulls information up on the main window. I'm going to hit publish and it'll bring up a pop-up window asking how I want to publish it. Now eLearning Brothers will host the HTML5 interaction for us so we'll click share and then copy the URL to our clipboard. Jump back into Camtasia and go to the point in the timeline we want the interaction to be accessed. So right here. <clears throat> okay now we'll create a hotspot link to our interaction. I'm going to use the mom heart image as the hotspot, so I'll double click on it. Select make a hotspot. And I'll have it pause at the end. Then I'll put in the URL that the hotspot will link to. I'm also not going to check the box that says open URL in a new tab because what I'm doing is making the interaction a requirement to move on in the course. That being said, you have to consider where the user will be coming back into the Camtasia production when they are finished with the interaction. For this one, they'll come back right where they left off. So I'll place my timeline scrubber right here. And now I'm going to drag the out point to the end of the production. Make sure we get all the way to the very end. Yep, so there's the out point. Now I'll right click on the highlighted area and click on the produce section as. It's important that I select the MP4 with Smart Player because this does have a uh, quiz in it. Once it's exported, I'll need to get it online and then copy its URL back into my HTML5 project to complete the round trip for the user. So let's go into the interaction builder and edit the interaction I've created. I want the very last button to be the button that connects us back to the Camtasia project, this one here. So let's click on step 7. And as you can see I've made the button say continue. When you click on that, uh, large text appears asking for a click to continue. I'll highlight this and make it a link to the second half of the Camtasia production. By inserting the hyperlink here. Now I'll click save. And that's it. So now we'll watch through the entire project and see how it works. So it's loading the first half of the project here. We'll click play. Got a little bit of music playing here. And here's our hotspot. Click that and it takes us to our interaction. Here we can click on the different uh, boxes and see different information about these mothers. And then when we're done, we can click continue and click the link. And it'll bring us now to the second half, right where we left off. Now there's also a quiz based on the information that uh, was in the interaction. 
We can uh, buzz through and get some of the answers here. This is a short answer. We'll click continue. This is a quick and easy way to utilize the HTML5 interaction uh, and an easy way to create several interactions in your Camtasia project. Thanks! Hope this was helpful.